I would like us to have a discussion about an online swindler, a young man who was recently exposed by many, many ladies. Well, stay tuned, guys. And also, we're going to discuss many other stuff. Oh, so try as much as possible, not just to watch a few minutes of this video. Also watch the middle and the last because we have a lot of juicy stuff here that I am really, really interested in sharing with you guys. But firstly, let's talk about Coral Bidi and Don Jazzy. Coral Bidi was formerly married but now divorced. She has uh, two kids with her former husband. And her husband then accused her of having a fling, a relationship. Entanglement with Nigerian musicians, most especially Don Jazzy. I'm not saying that she's guilty, but looking at this video, seeing how comfortable they, they Don Jazzy and uh, Korabidi are with each other, Korabidi did Don Jazzy house to chill, just the two of them, just the two of us. <laughs> you guys remember that song, Abby? It just the two of us. I remember uh, I'm slightly forgetting the song. Just the two of them, guys. And if, honestly, if as a human being, huh, think as a human being, you see that kind of girl really, really relaxed, and sometimes you go even open her leg wide open, all those kind of things, just to do Korobidi stuff. You know, good thing, say, Don Jazzy, the chop Korobidi. And not just only that again. You know, I don't say Don Jazzy is a bad guy. Go check the people made Don Jazzy they follow. Don Jazzy they follow almost all these Instagram girls from South Africa, from uh, from Kenya, from Uganda, from Ethiopia, everywhere. All those social media get Don Jazzy they follow all of them. All of them. All of them. They invite them to their house. I'm not saying Don Jazzy and Korobidi they date or Don Jazzy cannot date Korobidi, but Don Jazzy don't chop Korobidi before. I do not know. I'm just saying. I'm just thinking out loud. Comparing what they were doing, so that's to say, Corabidi's husband was right, was he, or was he not? Maybe, but looking at that video, there's nobody that's gonna. Come. I'm not saying it's true. You can believe whatever you want to believe. Or I'm not saying there's fact in it. Or there is no fact. But judging by that video, I would think if I think as a normal human being, as a normal gangster that I am. Oh, they say Don Jazzy, the chopper. Don Jazzy, the chopper. And if you check Don Jazzy, the kind of Don Jazzy, the person be. <laughs> Don Jazzy, they chop all those Instagram babes. So, well. So, if your girl be Instagram girl, and if I, and Don Jazzy, they follow, and he, they follow Don Jazzy, there's a 90% chance that Don Jazzy feed chopper, or Don Jazzy don't already chop him. Or she be influencer. I'm just saying, no, I'm just saying, do not believe. What I'm saying, do not believe what I'm saying. You understand? Well, I'm just talking, but don't believe me. Don't believe. Don't believe. Don't believe. Oh, just analyze it yourself. But do not believe me. So let's talk about this online swindler. Well, according to the way, ladies, a, a woman, according to the according to the way a woman recently described this online swindler who go by the name. Irio Dola, sorry, or Irio Dalo Emmanuel, or Baha Oh boy, if I'm pronouncing that right. Well, according to this lady, she said, This is Emmanuel. He's his karma. His entire girl's DMs makes them comfortable. He enters girls' DMs. Make them comfortable talking to him and then proceed to fall ill. For me, he has a heart. For me, he had a heart surgery. For Bola, he had a spinal surgery. He is a liar and a thief. This is his number and handle. The handle he used to talk to me has been deactivated. I reached out to his friend that knew him, but none of them wanted anything to do with the situation at hand. Be aware. Then another woman also came, showing proof that she actually talked to this girl, to this guy, Emma. She said, "Just realized after a long while that my intuition was right. 
is definitely makes you feel comfortable then tell you is terribly sick to say i made a tweet about being worried about him a while ago and i was even praying for for him for a while <laughs> then another lady said again another lady made a tweet sorry i'm still trying to get out a message another lady said he told me he had been he told me he had been to 12 countries just for him to send his picture and i was like i said don't judge a book by its cover he's so smart he really really smart sent link to me and told me to pick diamonds and pearl i finished choosing he said he was going to get it sent pictures of a bag for me of the store next thing that day was his birthday he finished if i uh he finessed me so bad i asked what he wanted he said make i make a donation to his parents orphanage god bless gtb for not having network that day i didn't do it the next day he reminded me of the money i knew it was his karma immediately is the reason i made this tweet <laughs> well you are calling him an online swindler but i will call him a guy that knows exactly what he's doing yes if we start going back to history and start talking about how women have successfully swindled a lot of men on social media collect money false pretense of saying they will come to that man and refuse to come and men do not talk this happens daily basis at least it has been recorded in my book that at least one million men are swingled by ladies on a daily basis today alone one million men have been swingled by ladies asking for one thing or the other and they will refuse to keep to the end of their bargain yes this man knows exactly what he's doing and i will support him as long as he's not killing anybody He's just using a small method to collect money, just exactly the way girls are doing it as well. So please, nobody should call a man or a swindler. A man is not a swindler. A man who is a wise man. So he is billing the biller. A man who is billing the biller. You know, when the hunter becomes the hunted, it now becomes a problem. You have been hunting, and someone is hunting you now. You are not talking are you saying you haven't collect money from any guy before so it's only right for a guy to collect money from you so emmanuel with all the power in me i will advise you to continue but as long you do not uh, steal from anybody and you do not do false pretense like using other people's faces and again you do not kill anybody emmanuel go on you have my support so let's move past that and let's talk about this other man again who believes so much about his wife according to this man he said his wife will never cheat on him after leaving his wife in the village in nigeria for more than 10 years this guy still believe while living in europe that his wife he left in the village in nigeria for 10 years have not slept with any other man my own sasha i know people marry past one based on the one where i live for us here yeah? i mm. too like her okay you get wife for nigeria i get wife for nigeria people so i know they play with her so i too like her mm. uh, except if she fuck up uh. i mean i know say she know if you fuck up uh. because she know she know me she know what i do well, if i if i hear anything anything from now eh? mm. uh, bro uh, i package them for one side how long you don't leave that one for us now Hey bro, I don't feel like for you. I don't need go lucky. Like, uh, maybe ten years. Ten years. Yeah. So that ten years, you never reach Nigeria. I never reach. And in your mind, tell you say that ten years now, she know she know the knack. Bro, I know they believe woman. Uh, but this one, where I live for us, yeah, uh, I believe her. You believe her? Uh? But I me mean, know they believe woman. But uh, this one, where I live for us, yeah, mm. I too believe her. Uh, because she know what I do. Mm. So she not go that to try that nonsense. Okay, for your mind, I say the guests there they cheat, but that way you leave for house for ten years, that that not the cheat on you. Bro, I know what I tell you. 
that one live for us, yeah? yeah. No. She's not a cheat. No. Ah. Uh, I know the person who say I know they believe yeah. believe her, yeah. uh, the believe woman, but one live for us, yeah. I do believe her. I she still wait for you. Yeah. She don't bother for Wait, oh, I want to ask this guy a question. You pour too much blood for grants for my maid and monitor your wife. Eh? You put one spirit, one uh, spirit maybe to monitor your wife's movement for Billy. You left the woman for 10 years without going back to Nigeria. And you believe that woman doesn't have needs. In even Islamic law, if you leave your wife for six months without going back to your wife, if you come back, you are even made to do a, another ritual thing and uh, organize uh, something. Eh? It is like we re remarrying your wife because God knows exactly what He has seen that your eyes cannot see. Can this man and Jones man who except except you know there are some uh, villages like I said before, if they marry, there is a ritual that if the wife cheat, the wife will buy or something will happen. Yes, so they work. Maybe in that one they do. Guys, let me understand this kind of stuff. Me, I don't believe it, and I will never believe it. Even for a one year, say if I leave my woman, child, I don't believe say you know that. Except if not my wife. Wife said for one year, doubt. Poor, I don't.